This video provides an overview of the Biometrics GEM methodology and framework for Energiewende. The Biometric Societal Development Program, explained in more detail in other documents, particularly in the presentation of its application to Energiewende, can assist in the management of societal change issues such as the Energiewende. To summarize, it involves five phases. It starts with the education of public change facilitators, then there is the Biometrics GEM, which engages stakeholders in public planning, followed by the ideal redesign of the energy supply chain, master plan for implementation, and designing ongoing development. This particular presentation explains some aspects of the Biometrics GEM methodology. Why is the methodology needed? A supply chain redesign, such as the Energiewende, requires the participation of stakeholders in planning. And how does it work? The Biometrics GEM allows identification and analysis of issues or challenges and identification of existing solutions and brainstorming of new ones. The structure of the Biometrics GEM is based on zooming in and zooming out of issues within a systemic framework. Zooming in allows an increasingly detailed description of an issue and zooming out shows an issue in its larger context. It puts the issue into its place and shows its relative importance in relation to other issues. Conducting a biometrics gem consists of five steps. First, we need to identify problems or issues. Then we need to identify their core factors or the core causes of the problem. Then we identify existing solutions and brainstorm new solutions guided by a systemic brainstorming method and then there is data integration and feedback. This video demonstrates the first step of the Biometrics GEM methodology. To work with an issue like the Energiewende, the Biometrics GEM uses the industry supply chain as a framework. It allows looking at the issues of the supply chain from different systemic perspectives. And we can either look at the supply chain as a whole or look at each of its links and sub or sublinks. This is the homepage of the presentation depicting the different aspects of the Biometrics Gym framework. We can view the overview of the energy supply chain here. In Biometric Systems Theory, a supply chain is an activity system depicted by an arrow. The three perspectives of how we can look at the issues related to the supply chain from a systemic point of view are illustrated at the bottom of the screen. They can be categorized by processing, processor and byproducts issues, by issues related to different dimensions and by accessing or tapping issues. Let us now look at the overview of the energy supply chain and its various links and sublinks. The issues we worked with for the purposes of this presentation were derived from ZDF documentaries on the Energiewende. They are used for illustrative purposes of the methodology and do not represent detailed research. Here we have got the energy supply chain overview with the total of 109 issues collected. By zooming into the supply chain, we can see its various links. Input provision, electricity generation, electricity distribution, electricity storage and electricity consumption, as well as the number of issues presented in the documentaries related to each of the links. We can zoom in further to see that some parts of the supply chain split into parallel activity systems, for example generation from non-renewable and renewable resources or input provision for each of those. By drilling even further, we can unpack all the subcategories of the non-renewable and renewable input provision or electricity generation. So non-renewable electricity generation would split into nuclear, coal, oil or natural gas, renewable electricity generation into solar, wind, hydro and biomass. As this slide illustrates, one can get into more and more detail as required. However, mapping the energy supply chain is not the subject of this presentation. It only illustrates the framework. Let us have a look at the issues categorized by processing, processor and byproducts. Here we can choose which part of the supply chain we want to zoom into. 
By clicking on electricity consumption, we can look at the list of the issues in that particular area. Some of the issues highlighted in the documentaries were related to processing, prediction of doubling of energy prices within the next 10 years, lack of incentives to tap into overproduced electricity and so on. We can see that there is a number of blank boxes that need filling in by relevant stakeholders. Now we can look at the example of electricity generation, where the documentaries identified many more issues. By clicking on the More Issues button, we will see a second screen with the rest of the list. Let us now zoom into the non-renewable issues, and still zoom more into the nuclear issues and see the number, or lack of, processing, processor and byproducts related issues. We have come back to the home page of the presentation. Let us now have a look at the issues categorized by different dimensions – political, economic, cultural, technological and natural. Here we again have the overarching supply chain, this time with a number of issues related to each dimension. We can zoom into each of the dimensions, or we can zoom into the energy supply chain as a whole. If we zoom into the political dimension, we can see the list of the issues in that dimension. If we zoom into the supply chain as a whole, we can see that all the links within the chain are also multidimensional and have their dimension related issues. By zooming into any of the links, for example input pro we can look at it in more detail and see the list of categorized issues. Let us now have a look at the issues associated with accessing or tapping. For example storage, transport, interaction between linking stakeholders or other accessing considerations. By clicking on the tapping arrow between input provision and electricity generation, we can see the list of issues on the interface of these two supply chain links. To summarize, the identification of problems within the supply chain, the first step in the Biometrics GEM methodology, is followed by analyzing the problem cofactors, identifying of existing and brainstorming of new solutions. This presentation outlined the first step of the methodology. The following steps use the same framework, however, they require an explanation of the systemic brainstorming method. We will be happy to discuss the methodology in more detail in a meeting.